I am Judith Jones, and we are from Dallas, Texas. We flew in here from Dallas, Texas just yesterday. These are my two daughters. I'm Danielle. I'm Destiny. We came here specifically for God to break off, because I knew there was a generational curse off of us. And we came here specifically to be activated, to go further into the ministry, because we have been doing ministry. So. And when I saw these visions of God, I saw a pattern that needed to be broken. Yes. <laughs> this woman of God has never known <laughs> stability in relationship at all. <laughs> Prophesy. <laughs> At a season, she was in a relationship with somebody that had alcohol problems. In another season, she was in a relationship with somebody that all these people, first of all, they were abusive. Prophesy. Are you listening to be woman of yes, God? Am I speaking yes. to myself or am I speaking no, the no, truth? No, she started having children, but there was something that was an error in the spirit. Because she has no stability, that trend remained even on the children from her to this young lady that has her head wrapped and even to the one after they will have the same experience the angel of the Lord told me then the angel of the Lord showed me and pointed me to this one the one in the red he said, this one, the pattern has already begun. I am seeing a young boy standing next to her. But next to her, the father of the child is not in the picture. Prophesy, prophesy. And the angel of the Lord said, this is a pattern that began with the mother being in abusive relationships. That now it has spilled over. But Elohim has spoken. Yes. Amen. That this thing is about to be broken. Yes. And is about to be reversed. Yes. The family is about to be redeemed. Yes. Beginning from the mother to this one to everyone. Hallelujah. Says the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. He did exactly what God the Father told him he would do. Um, he broke off that generational curse that came through uh, the bloodline. He talked about the different um, men that were trying to still curse me even more so. And he definitely, he did everything Father God said he would do. So, thank you. He, he, he just prophesied for even my son and you know what we're gonna be doing and what God called us to do. We came to get activated in today and tonight and that's exactly what happened. So God is faithful. He also called off like medical inequities and illnesses. Like I used to have seizures, I guess, when I was four years old and he prophesied about that. And I hadn't even been thinking about like seizures or anything like that but it was good he called that out and off of our bloodline too. Then the angel of the Lord also showed me something. He showed me another vision. <laughs> and in my vision, I saw myself in the hospital. And when I was in the hospital, the angel of the Lord said, they drew her blood there is an attack that the enemy deposited in her blood. She is sick, not well. Something is wrong with her blood. Prophesy. The enemy is trying to use this to kill this woman. The enemy is trying to use this to kill you. But the Lord said your decision in 2017 to turn your heart towards him, to begin to chase after him like never before, has preserved you. Because I saw you in spells of dizziness, spells of weakness, because of this arrow that the enemy shot in your blood. We have to bring protection for her. 
because this is what I saw and I was wondering what why am I seeing this I saw somebody like um, saw you. passing out <laughs> and when they will pass out it would be like some kind of seizure thing yep. that would be an attack yep. Yep. Prophesy. 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 you're saying it used to happen to her Prophesy. huh Yes. It used to happen when to she you was four years old younger. when you were younger. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> how about how old was this happening? Uh, probably like four years old. Four years. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> if God is showing me, we need to approve that thing. I'll say I do. Seek the Lord. Early pray. Sometimes if you have to fast, if you need to do that, I'll say read your word every day to get closer to God, and she knows His voice. So. You'll hear God's voice and know how to differentiate it because it sounds different than our voice. It sounds deeper. And walk by faith and not by sight. We really walk by faith by booking our flight, uh, getting here last night from Dallas, Texas. We just believed and we knew that God was gonna, he was gonna deliver on what he promised. So he's not a God that he can or shall lie. So we just believe him. And even, he even showed favor on our flight too because we had almost missed it, but they delayed it so then we could get here on time. And you just got to believe that all things are possible for those who love the Lord. You really do. Mark 9, 23 is so clear. But we know the enemy wants you to believe the opposite of what God has said. But you really have to believe. You cannot outgive God. And you have to believe what he says. It is true. And I think that's the biggest thing with any of us. We get so wrapped up into the way of the world, our circumstances, or our experiences, and we kind of stop there, we get plateaued. But God is God of unlimited resources. Everything is possible for Him. There's nothing that He cannot do. So you really have to walk by faith and believe. I would say keep on doing what you're doing. I don't care about the haters, the naysayers. I mean, because you know you're doing the right thing because they even talked about Jesus, you know, calling him warlocks and witches and casting out demons from really calling him Bezalel. Keep on doing what you're doing. That's what the Lord has me to say to him. He keeps on doing what he needs to be doing because God called him. It's not about what the people are saying. It's about what God is saying to you. What did God call you to do? And I'm thankful that he's a faithful servant of the Lord. And no matter what, he's still going forward. And I say, forget about the haters and the naysayers. Yes, if you're, if you're making Satan mad, you know you're doing the right thing. Let your haters be your motivators. <laughs> and not only that, the word is very clear too. Things that are spiritually minded, the natural man cannot understand them. So that's why they will be left behind. Even when Noah was building the ark, they could not understand. And right now, God's building a different ark right now. For those at Revelation of Church who actually has the honor to be sitting under a man of God like this, you guys are so blessed. You don't even know what you have. We already talked about moving to Simi Valley. Yes, please. <laughs> yes. Your faces every Thursday, every Sunday. Yes. So finally, the last question I want to ask you is to God. who made a way for you guys to come out here tonight. Who spoke directly to you. We heard every single one of your prayers. What would you say to our Father? What would I say to to God, thank you, Father God. I am that you are. You are I am. And I see why I say we are. I am Elias because I am, and Elias is with God, and God is with us. So we are I am. We are part of the family. <laughs> Praying for bigger things to come in 2023. Yes, and continuing just to believe God and taking him at his word. He is a God that he cannot, shall not lie. And I'm just going to stand firm on it. So we trust you, God. Thank you.